With Sony's lineup ready, the stage is set for the ninth gaming generation. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our top 10 most anticipated PS5 games. We know that the PS5 is coming this year. We know that it will be coming in two models, an all-digital console and one with a UHD Blu-ray player. So for this list, we'll be highlighting the games you should consider picking up when these consoles launch. Number 10. Ghostwire Tokyo Hear threats, others don't. <laughs> we first got a tease of this game at E3 2019, but now we got a better look at what the game is all about, fighting lots of Slenderman-like figures and headless schoolgirls with mystical powers. It's up to you to save Tokyo. The game is certainly more on the stylistic side, and it appears that we may even get a chance to travel through the haunted Tokyo on a motorcycle. That said, the visuals do give us a bit of pause for concern, but still, there is time to fix them up before its 2021 release. Number 9. Little Devil Inside Originally announced on Kickstarter back in 2015, Little Devil Inside is an open-world adventure survival game that appears to be making great use of the PS5's hardware while retaining its unique art style. The setting is that you, the player, have been recruited by your college professor to embark on a dangerous expedition to catalog and bring back dangerous monsters. Given the variety of creatures we've seen so far, it certainly looks like the game will have plenty to offer when it launches on PS4, PS5, and PC. Number 8. Hitman 3 All your hard work, all your sacrifice, only sped up the process. Okay, it's actually the eighth game in the mainline Hitman series, but it nevertheless looks compelling. IO Interactive have already delivered a solid and highly replayable experience with the previous two Hitman titles, and it looks like they're sending off this current trilogy in style. With very little shown of the game, the simple fact that we'll get to assassinate wealthy socialites atop a skyscraper in Dubai is incredibly tempting, and 2021 can't come soon enough. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Number 7. Project Athea A new project by the newly formed Luminous Productions, a subsidiary of Square Enix, and made up of developers who worked on Final Fantasy XV. Details on this project are very scarce, but we do know that this game will make use of their in-house proprietary engine, Luminous Studio. A tech demo of this engine was first shown off in 2012 with the short film Agni's Philosophy, and it only seems to have gotten better over the years. If this is what they could do in 2012 with this engine, imagine what they can pull off on the PS5. Number 6. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to... Get to... Right, the ship. I mean, we can't be that far. One of the most promising aspects of the PlayStation 5 is its solid-state drive that'll reportedly make loading screens a thing of the past. Insomniac Games' beloved Lombax and Robot Duo are set to push that feature to the limits. Slow down! Please! That's not listening! <laughs> Following up from the 2016 reboot, this entry's main feature is the ability to travel between dimensions instantly, something that would no doubt be very taxing on current-gen hardware. But that's not all. The trailer showed us that this game will also be getting a variety of rideable alien mounts, and a new female Lombax. No word yet on a release date, 
but considering the gameplay that was shown off, it can't be too far away. That's all of them. Number 5. Demon's Souls Remake Originally released two years before Dark Souls put From Software on the map, Demon's Souls was initially met with skepticism due to its unprecedented high difficulty at the time, but slowly gained a fan following through word of mouth. Now it's being given new life from the team that brought us 2018's Shadow of the Colossus remake, and with the Soulsborne franchise as big as ever, Demon's Souls now seems set to kick the asses of not only fans of the original, but those who missed out the first time around. Hopefully, the wait won't be too long. Number 4. Resident Evil Village They're coming. Who is? Now here's one that caught us off guard, because at first, we didn't realize it was a Resident Evil title until the title screen appeared. Once we knew what we were in for, it all started to make sense. The game sees Resident Evil 7 protagonist Ethan Winters return as he finds himself in a creepy village being hunted by werewolves, an axe-wielding monster, witches, and most shocking of all, Chris Redfield. Making use of the RE engine used in recent Resident Evil titles, we already know it's going to be a horrifying experience when the game launches on PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC in 2021. Why? Number 3. Kina. Bridge of Spirits. Out of all the new IPs that were shown off at the PS5 reveal, this one impressed us the most. If you were watching this trailer and thought, hmm, this reminds me a lot of The Legend of Zelda, it turns out that it's no coincidence. Ember Lab, the developer of Kina, were responsible for the incredible Majora's Mask fan film Terrible Fate, released back in 2016. With its Zelda inspiration on full display, from the character designs to the combat, this is certainly a game that should be on your wish list when it comes out in the holidays of 2020. Well, Nintendo, you had the opportunity, but clearly, PlayStation does what Nintendo don't. Number 2. Spider-Man, Miles Morales Go be a hero, Miles. Okay. Let's do this. After 2018's amazing Marvel Spider-Man, we knew a follow-up would have a greater focus on Miles. What with his slow-paced side story and the ending where he revealed his identity to Peter Parker. Shortly after the livestream, however, Sony's EVP head of European business, Simon Rudder, clarified to The Telegraph that this game is actually an expansion to the Spider-Man 2018 game, rather than a full sequel. This would indicate that the 2018 title will be remastered for the PS5. We also know that the game will be coming out this year, so it's very likely that this will be a launch title. Before we reveal our most anticipated title, here are a few honorable mentions. Astro's Playroom a cute follow-up to the PSVR hit that will take full advantage of the DualSense controller's new features. Gran Turismo 7, one for the car enthusiasts and easily one of the most realistic looking games on the PS5. Returnal, a roguelike third-person shooter with an interesting time loop mechanic. Deathloop, a roguelike first-person shooter with an interesting time loop mechanic. Hey, hey, wait a second. Yeah. 
Pragmata. While it's being developed by Capcom, there's lots of speculation that a certain strand-loving auteur may be involved. Wouldn't be the first time he did this. Want more video game content? Check out our gaming channel Mojo Plays and discover games and ideas you never knew existed. With more lists, breakdowns, and our latest series, Arcade Roulette. Justin and John are in! Oh. Hey, is that Porky Pig? Mm. There's a lot of things being ripped off in this game. Number 1. Horizon Forbidden West. After the incredible Horizon Zero Dawn ended on a cliffhanger with loads of unanswered questions, we all couldn't help but wonder when we would return to Aloy's world. While no release date is set, we do have a good idea of what to expect. We know Forbidden West will take place across what used to be California, as the reveal shows plenty of San Francisco landmarks that have since been reclaimed by nature. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depths I won't explore. We know that the game will have a new focus on underwater traversal, but most importantly, we can't wait to take on some giant mechanical mammoths and find out what Silence is doing. Greatness certainly awaits. I will be ready. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.